My name is Dr. Paul Alexander and I am the president at Trinity Bible College and Graduate School in Ellendale, North Dakota. One of the things that I love doing each year is awarding the presidential scholarships. These are by far the most prestigious scholarships that we offer and also the most generous. One provides a 90% tuition discount, another 75% and another 60% so they can make a huge difference in the final cost of your education. So I'm inviting you to apply and if you're a senior this year, please will you look into what's available to you. Look at the link below at the end of this video and that'll give you all the instructions on how you can go about receiving the scholarship and making application for it. I hope that we get the opportunity to welcome you as a student to Trinity Bible College and Graduate School.
For the Conquerors, number two, Caden Larson. Number three, Logan Anderson. Number 22, Kent Anderson. Number 23, Austin Weisbrook. And number 24, Hunter Owen. And now for your Trinity Bible College Lions. Number zero, Quincy Wilson. Number five, Sam Wilson. Number 20, Marcelo Smigori. Number 21, Damian Walters Jr. And number 24, Elijah Gomero. Welcome to tonight's second game against the FLBC Conquerors, Free Lutheran Bible College, and your Trinity Lions girls finished up with a resounding win about 25, 30 minutes ago. About a 60-point win. Guys are looking to kick off tonight. They come into this game with an 11-8 and record on the season. Just lost their first game in a while. They were on an eight, seven, seven or eight seven game, game, winning, game streak. winning streak. And they come into this game kind of on fire. Lost to University of Minnesota Morris on Tuesday earlier this week. Tough matchup to play in there. Quincy, quick drive, gets the two. Alpha, or, uh, Free Lutheran comes into this game 0-11 on the season. Having a rough go of it this year. I heard from their coach earlier today that uh, they had a couple of recruits come in and then just decide, ah, we're going to focus on our studies this year, which happens at this level. Damien, for the three, just a bit long. And so they've had a little bit of a rough go at it this year. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this game plays out tonight. And uh, chances are we're going to see some, some faces on the court for a little bit longer than we've normally seen if history goes as history goes. Three point no good, but uh, Free Lutheran got their rebound back. Elijah Guerrero with a steal. Gonna kick it up the court the to Marcellus. Down. Marcellus, first two points of the night. Marcellus, if you guys remember and tuned in the last home game that we broadcast, Marcellus crossed the 2,000 point threshold, only the seventh player in men's Lions history to do so. Since then, he's kind of gone on a little bit of a scoring. Oh, Elijah with the nice behind the back dribble off the steal, hands it off to Quincy for two. Got a quick timeout. Free Lutheran. We'll be right back. Right back. Just found out if you're catching that musical tune. That was made by our very own Matt Payne. Wonderful. Not licensed. We could have been on the air the whole time. But, we, could uh, have. we could have. I don't think people want to hear us talk that much. No. If you listen to the girls' game, you heard us talk a lot. <laughs> so as I was saying before that timeout early in the game, Elijah Guerrero with the, with the rebound, wrestling it away, going to get a jump ball, stays with the Conquerors. But Marcellus, after crossing that 2,000 points threshold, has kind of gone on a scoring tear and now sits at 2,079 coming into this game. Has moved up into sixth place and is 22 points shy of fifth place on the all-time scoring list. Quick steal by Marcellus. Excellent could hands. easily hit that one tonight. He could, yes. So he's at already at four points. Yeah. Quincy. Quincy's at five. Three. He's got five. So Marcellus with four points already. Sorry, no, Marcellus has two, so he's 20 away from that next threshold. 
Quincy with a quick seven of our nine points. Met Quincy and Sam's dad. He's in town for the weekend. Yeah, I see him sitting on the bench down here. Real good guy. Talked to him a little bit last night at the intramural volleyball. I don't want to talk about how that went. Yeah, I don't either. Damian, excellent defense on the on the arc. Ah, gets him on the drive. Foul's going to be on Damian, his first. A little more about Quincy and Sam's dad. He's actually a hip-hop artist and has at least one track with over 2 million streams and just released a brand new song today. 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 I'm hoping wow. we can play it here a little bit. You guys won't get to hear it because I'm sure it's copyrighted. <laughs> uh, but uh, if you're into hip-hop and... Damien catches that catch pass, wasn't quite ready platforms. for it. Almost a backcourt violation there. Good hands there. Tip ball into the backcourt, no violation. Sam gets the block. Elijah up the court, he's gonna go right by his guy. Finish at the rim with the foul. Going to go to the line. Three-point play. First two points of the game for Elijah. He actually had no idea who he was. And then it showed up on social media. I was like, are you kidding me? I listened to this guy like when I was. Oh, really? I used to be heavy into hip-hop. I'm a little less heavy into hip-hop no. now. But back in like early youth pastor days, and I was like, I got his album on my phone still, actually. That's awesome. Small world. So I'm trying no. to fanboy, actually, is what the reality is. He was at, <laughs> he was at Marcellus' wedding, and I was like, is it, can I ask him for an autograph? But I, I didn't. You didn't? I didn't. Damien gets the block on the three-point attempt. Three-point shot, no good. Marcellus comes down with the rebound. Marcellus actually comes into this game averaging about six and a half rebounds a game to go along with his 24 and a half points. That's a travel, but they're not going to let it go. Looked like he was trying to set up a three-point shot. Oh, Standing out of bounds. Can't catch the ball there. Quick 14-0 lead. First substitutions for Trinity on the night. Micah Christensen into the game. Looks like Nehemiah, Nehemiah Becker is getting into the game as well. Elijah Guerrero is going out as well as... Damian Walters. Oh, the wide open look down low, just through the hands of fresh into the game, Nehemiah. on the shot clock. Good defense by the Lions. Shot is up, no good. Marcellus comes down with the rebound. His second rebound of the night. Open three, knocks it down. That is number three, Logan Anderson. First points of the night for the Conquerors, 14 to three. Five minutes gone by, first half. Micah Christensen drives, 15 foot jumper. No good, rebound Nehemiah, put back. No good, rebound Micah. Doing some work down there, gets his own rebound again. That's two offensive rebounds, kicks it out to Marcellus. Back down to Micah. Good fake, strong finish. Got another timeout, gonna be full. We'll be right back, 16 to three.
All right, and we're back out of the timeout. 16 to three, Trinity leads 14-41 left in the first, first half. Quincy leading all scores with seven, followed by Marcellus with four, Elijah with three, Micah with two. Steal at half court, Marcellus gonna get the layup. He was looking for another steal there. Oh, Micah went in for the steal, but just didn't quite get there. Shot fake. White ball. Some substitutions on Free Lutheran's part. Marcel's thought about a three. Getting in, finds Quincy on the corner. No good, Micah's gonna track that down. Gets it to Nehemiah, finds Sam. Marcellus, top of the key, deep three. <laughs> Guys taking a lot of chances on defense, looking to get steals. Rebound comes off to, to Quincy, finds Micah. Corner for three. Long. Long three. He reset his feet, <laughs> messed up his rhythm. Yeah, got a little too, a little too steel happy on that one. They're gonna get Marcellus with the reaching foul. Second team foul, first on Marcellus. Substitutions Trinity, we've got uh, Tashar McCray coming in and Aiden Glanzer coming in. Floating runner, no good by the Conquerors. Way up court to Shar. Gets fouled on his way up. Just checking in, Aiden gets the rebound and Tashar hits the line. Both new to the program this year. First free throw is good. Aiden a true freshman and Tashar transferring in. He's a junior, I believe. Tashar with that first free throw. Scores his first points of the year. Really? Yeah, well he had to sat out, sit out that yeah, first semester with an injury. injury so. and three pointer on the way is good. It's limited some of, some of his playing yet even this second half of the semester. Yeah, he's, he's dealt with some injuries there. Micah. Going to try it again from the corner. A bit Just long on that one as well. The line. Deep two-pointer. Tashar comes down with the rebound. Oh, Quincy was finding him on the drive down the center of the key. Pass a bit late. Offensive rebound for the Conquerors, put back is good. Number one, Joey Richardson. First two points of the night for Joey. Quincy, top of the key, gonna knock that one in. 10 points early in this game. 22 to eight. Just under 12 to play in the first half. Deshaw are going to get called for the reach on the drive. That is not his first foul of this year. <laughs> I don't know if they got that on you. <laughs> I, don't know. I just knew because we saw him the last time come in. And that's true. He checked in and almost oh, no. instantly. That's his second. <laughs> oh, that's only his second. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got this statting program all updated. Uh, wasn't working earlier in the year, but everything. That's great. It's, yeah, it's really, on, it's only on about a 15 second delay from what's actually happening in the game. Uh, makes our job 
A lot your, easier. Your job. Gives us something to talk your about. Your job, because <laughs> you were statting earlier, and you did a great job with it. Micah but, gets in low. Fouled on the way up. Bucket is good. Going to the line. Complete three point the play three on its way. Point play. They used to call it the old-fashioned three-point play, you know, from back when there was no three-point line. I'm sure. not that old, so maybe it's the ancient three-point play now. It could be. The more you know her, folks, I never would have known that information, and this is why Vaughn Jordan sits at the broadcast booth. At your right hand. That's right. <laughs> you are actually on the right. <laughs> three-pointer. Oh, way arcing three-pointer. No good. Track down, thrown out of bounds. Going to be Lions ball. Aiden comes off a bit long. Rebound to Nehemiah. Out to Tashar. Shot fake, drive. Floater is no good. 15 point lead, 25 10. Micah comes down with the rebound, up the court to Aiden. Little reverse layup, doesn't go. Frantic pace in this game right now. It really is. Both teams up and down, looking to run. I think our guys are steel happy. They, that they are. And it's kind of clouding their judgment on some of the. <laughs> I think you're right. Some of the plays there. Just stick to the basics and. Tashar. There we go. Gets the little floater. That's three points for Tashar on the night. Good defense by Nehemiah. Comes down with the rebound, pushing the break. Held on the drive, that's gonna be a foul on the floor. Fourth team foul on the Conquerors. Inbound for the Lions. Finds Marcellus on the baseline. He's going to break his man down. Finds Micah open, Wide top of the key. Open. Three, nothing Drops but net. Three. So I was looking up with this all updated. I was looking up some season statistics. Pleasantly surprised to see that Micah is actually the second leading scorer on the team. Well, He's having an incredible have, uh... second half of the year. He's averaging just under 13 points a game. Shots like that last one will tell you why. Well, he's how, many, got, how many is he putting them up from rebounds too underneath? He's averaging uh, just under five, or just over five rebounds a game. So that was a little lower than I would have thought. Yeah. Points were a little higher, but doing well. Crowd favorite Luke Platowski just checks in at the scorer's table. Not a face we've seen a lot of. Luke, uh, Luke is a bodybuilder by Hobby design trade. Yeah, design. He's, he's a stout he's, guy. He's, he's tough. He's won multiple state championship competitions. He did one last spring. Uh, won that one and and is quite active. You wouldn't know it. The kid can jump. Nehemiah. Luke comes down with the rebound. Gets it back out to Nehemiah. Aiden with the three. No good. Rebound to the Conquerors. Also probably our most tatted student Full on sleeve. campus. On Full campus, sleeve, yeah. let alone on the basketball team. I don't know if that makes you better at basketball or not, but uh, makes you look better. It looks cooler. Right. <laughs> You think I could pull off full sleeve? Mm, a full sleeve polo, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> it works on some people. I'm probably not one of those. I was too poor in my younger days where I would probably have full sleeves on both sides. Well, you're working on it. Well, there's a few here and there. How many do you have? 
<laughs> uh, I don't even actually know. Not enough. Never enough. There's always room for one more. <laughs> Steal by Aiden. Gets it up. Marcellus bringing up the break. Finds Luke. Passes up the three. Step back. Gets it to go. Grabs oh, it. they're going to count it, it as a two. It was only a two, though. It Crowd. was just a hair short. His foot was just over the line. Crowd favorite Luke Platowski gets his first shot attempt to go. Listen, if he dunks it, he can jump. He, he this can place really is going to go nuts. Here's the thing about trying to dunk in a game. You have to not really care. Oh! <laughs> you have to not really care what happens. Right. right? Just do it. And I think Even if he just attempts tries. it, yeah. this place is going to go nuts. I think that's Luke. I don't think he's going to mind if he misses it. Now we have another player on the team that's pretty reserved when it comes to dunking because he's a little nervous. He's 6'6", six, six, though. Yeah. Yeah. Aiden gets his hand on the ball. Tashar comes up with the steal. I think Tashar is going to have his own yep. way to the rim. Tashar playing well. Five points for Tashar. Timeout, 34 to 10, 720 to play. We're back after the timeout. Uh, you may have noticed that the clock kept running during a timeout, and normally that's not how we do things. Uh, Let's be honest. In college basketball. It's how we do things. <laughs> well, this is the first night we've had a clock running on, this, on the live stream. Uh, so our, our tech so, over here got a little too excited that Luke came into the game <laughs> and uh, forgot to, to stop the clock when he needed to. Damien misses Swatting the block, that one. gets the rebound. So we've upgraded some of our tech, got live statting, Got some good microphones. We just got a good to, camera. We might need to update some of, with the two. some of our uh, student workers here. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't getting at that. <laughs> oh, he's paid. You're saying, payroll, huh? We got a clock. Hey. We got a clock on the live stream, but not connected to the actual game clock. Yeah, so that's that's. We got to run them separate. Step out of our league here. Damien finds Aiden down low. Lions kind of getting to do whatever they want here. 38 to 10, 620 left in the first half. Only two starters in the game. Uh, Marcellus is going to go take that one away. Going to get the two. Refs aren't going to give him that call, not with a 30 point lead this early. Running floater, good for the Conquerors. Can't see, I think that's number three, Logan Anderson. That is his fifth point of the night. Damien, 15 foot jumper, no good. Over the back call, gonna be on Aiden. Looks like Elijah Sam back into the game and a a little bit of a line change for the Conquerors. Oh, man, we got pizza out there? Yeah, there's pizza down there. I'm just here for the popcorn. I'm just here so I don't get fined. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, nice steal from Sam down in the middle there. Dishes it off to Elijah and puts it in for two more. 42 to 12, Trinity Bible College Lions. Steal by the steal. Oh, 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 oh. oh. He's, gonna, he's gonna check up. Oh, I thought he was gonna travel. And Damian count gets him it. and gets two. Either one of those gentlemen could have had the dunk. I think Luke wanted it a little he, bit too much in that case. He thought about it too much. If he'd passed it off to, to Damian, it would have would have happened too. Luke making the most of his minutes in this game. He might be earning himself some more time. It's that 23 jersey. I think so. That's what it is. So. Harnessing the power of Michael Jordan. Marcellus going Who for, for the you steal. younger kids was an actual basketball player, not just a clothing line guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sam intercepts the cross court pass, gets it up to Marcellus, who's going to get the easy two. Ten points for Marcellus. And another, another timeout. timeout. Well, one of us is one of us is back. The other one of us may have stuck a Starburst in our mouth and is incapacitated at this moment. Oh, we still got lots of music going on in the background. All right, we're back in action. Okay, I'm back here. I don't know why I thought that timeout was going to be longer than it was, um, and then it wasn't. Oh, Quincy just took a shot to the nose. That little, is little uh, dazed there. Number 14, Levi Scorbo. Elijah, corner for three. Gets it. And drops it. Okay. I looked it up in the last game, and I think may have jinxed us. <laughs> mm. Elijah, another steal. sorry. Marcellus with another one from behind. Gets it. Looks like Micah Christensen is getting ready to check back into the game. Damien Ordizi, as the kids call him, with another uh, rebound. Marcellus for a long three, just off to the side. So we actually don't have it. Maybe you've never made a record. <laughs> we have single season records, but not single game for the team. No. Oh, DZ, Damian we were waiting for the one. dunk. He's Fif right there. 53-14, three minutes left in the first half. Steal by Quincy. Up to Marcellus. Gets the layup. That's 14 points for Marcellus. He's taking over the scoring lead. Timeout, Trinity Bible College. We will be back.
And we're back out of that timeout. 55-14, 2.45 left in the first half. I chuckle every time because there was a, uh, this was a Saturday Night Live sketch where they were like, and we're back. Yeah, and we're back. And we're back. <laughs> every time. And Guerrero, Guerrero. Guerrero. Guerrero with the steal. So we've been in and out of traffic. Layup no good. Put back by Micah is no good. Is that the man in the can? Get back in the can. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Three-pointer comes off. Long rebound to Elijah. We just were told about that because we would Little never watch. Little crossover, left-hand layup. We would never watch that. Right-hand right. layup from the left side. My family no, had, somebody told me about my, it. My family had funny rules. Like, <laughs> you couldn't watch that live until your Sunday school lesson was done. <laughs> I don't know if that, that, was, might real, be the best know if that was a real rule, but we, we always make fun of mom. That it's might like, be the best rule I got my Sunday school lesson done. Can I watch that live? For those of you younger listeners, Sunday school. <laughs> Used to be something you did <laughs> on Sunday mornings. An hour before church, and sometimes you had homework that you had to do. Sunday school lessons. I remember it. I do too. Fond memories. Flannel graphs. Sunday night services. Yeah. yeah. Singspiration. Did you ever sing Singspiration? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. just love Singspiration because I was chubby. Three-pointer. And one of Good the snacks. Good to go. One of the snacks from the ladies in our church. Number 23, Austin Weisbrook. Aiden. Off the mark. Eli Micah's going to come down with that. Knock it in. 59-17. And this is why he's the second leading scorer. Yes, he works hard. Season. Yeah, for sure. And his season was almost not. He was dealing with some health issues and wasn't sure if playing time was going to happen or not. And yet here he is. So we're thankful to have him out on the court because he's been a great athlete. Good steal by Tashar. Luke gets the nice pass from cross court from Tashar. Takes it through the lane. Finishes at the hoop. Under a minute to go in this first half of men's basketball action tonight. Aiden going to take it all the way. Hands it off to Luke. Crazy reverse layup doesn't go. Rough catch on the pass. Yeah. Somebody got a hand on the pass. Somebody got a body on Luke. Ended up with kind of an awkward. <laughs> and Luke's putting the body back. <laughs> uh, he's not having any of it tonight. Second foul on Luke. When Luke isn't playing basketball, he's leading our evangelism team that goes out and does one-on-one -on -one personal evangelism and has done a very good job leading that got, team this year. Got some incredible stories. Uh, absolutely incredible testimonies. They just walk up to people and like, hey, can I ask you a question? And then they start the conversation from there and got a chance to, to talk to people and pray with lots of people in the area. Oh, they're just going to run this one out. It looks like nine on the clock. Micah going to get it at the buzzer. Just long, no and good. It's a no go. Headed into halftime, 61 17 lead. We'll be back with the second half.
My name is Dr. Paul Alexander and I am the president at Trinity Bible College and Graduate School in Ellendale, North Dakota. One of the things that I love doing each year is awarding the presidential scholarships. These are by far the most prestigious scholarships that we offer and also the most generous. One provides a 90% tuition discount, another 75% and another 60% so they can make a huge difference in the final cost of your education. So I'm inviting you to apply and if you're a senior this year, please will you look into what's available to you. Look at the link below at the end of this video and that'll give you all the instructions on how you can go about receiving the scholarship and making application for it. I hope that we get the opportunity to welcome you as a student to Trinity Bible College and Graduate School.
the one that does have that power to do that. Bye bye. And we're back. <laughs> we are back. Uh, we're having a little bit too much fun with the playlists at halftime there. Just returning the Mac. Starting second half, Lions leading 61 17. Good luck down low. Oh, he tried <laughs> for it and didn't quite get it. He's got the biggest smile on his face. That's all right. Down the court. I told him uh, I was not going to be happy with him if he didn't at least attempt one. We're going to put that in the record. We're going to put that in the scorebook, though. It was a missed dunk. <laughs> missed dunk. Yeah. Uh, better to have a missed a dunk than not to have dunked at all? I think so. I don't know. I think so. So, scoring leaders coming out of that first half Marcellus Mincarini. Leading all scorers with 14, Quincy Wilson with 10, Micah with 10, Elijah with 10, Damian 6, Tashar 5, Luke 4, Aiden 2. Skip pass, Marcellus three-pointer is no good, rebound. Damian kicks it out, Sam going to take a three, no good, rebound to the Conquerors. For the Conquerors, we got Austin Weisbrook with 6, Logan Anderson with 5, Levi Skogerbo with 4, Joey Richardson with 2, and that rounds out their scoring. Ball gets tipped, flies into the crowd. Good crowd tonight. Yeah, we've got quite a few high school students here and quite a few parents here on both sides of the ball. A lot of members from the Ellendale community I'm seeing. So it's good to see. We do rely heavily on the revenue from home games. Yes, we wouldn't be able to function as an institution without it. <laughs> Missed miss three-pointer. <laughs> Sam comes down with the rebound. In case you didn't quite catch that, that's a bit of sarcasm. And by a bit, <laughs> I mean we couldn't lay it on any thicker, I don't think. Marcellus right down the center of the key. I think they're trying to get Damian a dunk. I think so, too. Yeah. Coach is just sitting over there laughing. Sam takes the ball up, and we know this oh, isn't well, going to be a dunk. Well, that's not going to be a dunk. <laughs> Marcellus with another two. 16 points in the night. He's actually six points shy of tying for fifth place on the all-time scoring sheet. Do we know who fifth is? Are we allowed to uh, mention them? Yes. I mean, we can do whatever we want. So there's one that's not on here, but fifth would be John Mum, played oh, yeah. here early 2000s. Went to just, college with John Mum. Just before, yeah, your day, 98 to 2002. He scored 2,101 points. Third on the list is Bill Schofield, a little earlier know. than that, 94 to 98. Bill Jackson. Went to is, school with Bill Jackson as well. Did you really? Yeah. Third on the list, 95 to 99. Khalil Bolden, just graduated last year, is actually second. And then top is Mikey Rosario with 2,348 points. He's kind of a ways out there in first place. Um, Marcellus but totally has a chance, reach. but um, he's going to have to have some solid games and go deep both in the conference and the regional tournament. Mikey must have been after your time as well, huh? Uh, yeah, Mikey was... I think he was oh or 12, uh, 10 to 14 maybe. I've got it right here. He was 9 to 13. So he actually came in the season after I left. I left. Okay. I left in the spring of 08. 
And so he would have come in the fall of 09. So about a year later, year and a half later. But you stuck around and worked, right? No. Oh, that. I worked my senior year okay. in the enrollment office. Okay. Um, and then. Uh, full circle. Yeah, full circle. I'm now back over <laughs> enrollment <laughs> in a strange turn of events. <laughs> Elijah Guerrero on the wing, fakes the three, kicks it to Quincy. He's had his on shot on tonight. That's his third three of the night. He is We're three get Sam of four. Some points here. Sam has yet to score. Ben Bialik must be gone tonight. Yeah, I don't he's see out him on a there. missions, a ministry uh, opportunity. There's a, a conference in Minnesota that Pastor Dan, our campus pastor, took several students to. Oh, okay. And uh, him and his wife both must have. Yep, must they have both gone. went over to that, and a handful of other students. That, folks, is what we prioritize. Oh, that's going to be a foul. Yeah, we talked about it in our office, and I was like, does Ben not know he's got basketball? <laughs> ben is also a graduate this year. Does his, uh, does his wife graduate, too? I think they're both done, yeah. Yep. They started they started online for two years okay. while still living in Alaska, uh, and then came here not married and then spent a year on campus and then got married this last summer and will be done this year. And I believe they're intercultural, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Couldn't find better people. Damien gets the great pass from Sam down low. Two points, 70-17. I won't imagine Coach is going to give this group many more minutes on the court tonight. I wouldn't think so. 53-point lead. That is Damien's ninth rebound of the night, go along with his 10 points. He has kind of been a double-double machine this second quarter, or the second half of the season. Elijah left wide open at the corner. Buries that. It'll be 13 for him tonight. Tied for second on the team. Some balance scoring tonight all around. Three-pointer no good. Damian oh, with the big block. Nice block. I kind of think he enjoys blocking a shot more than he does anything else on the court. Some guys are just a little more for defense. From the wing. Marcellus' three comes up just a bit short. His night might be done. 14.30 to play, 73-17 lead for the Lions. I think coach told him, you only get about five minutes in this I'm out. sure he knew what was coming. If that is the end of Marcellus' night, he ends the night with 16 points. Going to come up just a few points shy of that fifth place on the all-time list. And I'm sure tomorrow night, or tomorrow afternoon, he will take care of that. Rebound gets tipped towards out of bounds. Damien saves it to Elijah. Quincy's also looking pretty comfortable on the bench. Yeah, he is. Nehemiah from the wing comes up short. Damien with the offensive rebound. They're going to burn some clock. They are. All over Micah as he tried to get down there. I think the refs are trying to let as much go as possible without letting it get out of hand. Yeah. I don't see a game like this getting chippy for sure. But these are the games that can. I don't think this team will get chippy. Yeah, I think so. Damian padding his own stats there. The Tip. rebound and the score. That gives him a double-double on the night. 12 points, 11 rebounds. Bank shot. It's a little floater there. By Austin Weisbrook, leading the Conquerors with eight points. Damian going to take a three. Comes up short. Oh. 
<laughs> Elijah, <laughs> you might not have seen that. Elijah had that lined up from about half court. He actually slowed down and let the guy get ahead of him so he could block it. That's not easy to do. But if he missed, Damian was right there uh, to yep, block it yep, too. So, yep. Turnover. Micah comes away, passes it up to Elijah. Going to slow down. Sam Wilson loses the dribble. Conker is going to come away. Up the court. Going to take a three-pointer. So Damien short. with another rebound. 13 on the night. Oh, yeah, definitely a foul. There. A little bit there. Good sportsmanship there. Didn't mean to get him across the face, but it happens. Damien might be done for the night. 75-19, 12-20, second half. Sam going to get a three. No good. Tip back out by Micah to Elijah at the top of the key. Lions getting a little careless with the ball. Oh. oh. Travel called. I was going to say there wasn't anything to call a foul on. No, that was definitely a clean. Shuffled his feet. A clean block. Nehemiah Strong gets it in. First points of the night for Nehemiah. Two points, five rebounds. Three-pointer on the way for the Conquerors. Comes out. Offensive rebound. Put back is good. That is number 24. Hunter. Oin. 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 I apologize to anybody's name that I butcher, but I do it to our own guys too. So I didn't know how to say Marcellus's last name for a solid two years. Listen, I, I he messed it up at his wedding. Yeah. I, I emceed their wedding reception, and I announced them and messed it up. <laughs> it's Mencarini, and I said Mencerini. I was just hoping everybody's cheering loud enough when I brought it up that. Uh... Three pointer from Micah. 13 points, five rebounds in the contest. Micah Christensen, right at his averages. 13 points, five rebounds. Three pointer, misses everything. Going to be Lions ball. Aiden coming in for Elijah Guerrero. I would imagine he's probably done for this evening. Again, getting careless, just kind of throwing it to spots. Back down low, Nehemiah. Powers another one in. 82 the 21. And drops down. Honestly, these are tough games to play. They're tough games to coach. They're tough games to ref. Our guy's doing well tonight. It's that fine line between playing a basketball game and being a jerk. Right. And you don't want to be a jerk. No, so Nobody needs to be treated that way. Even our fans, like, they know enough that right. you don't need to cheer a lot at stuff like this. Going to have a foul on the rebound. Nehemiah gets pushed in the back. The only time they need to cheer is when Luke takes his chance at a, uh, I think it's coming. a dunk. 
I'm a little surprised he's not in. Yeah, I would have thought so by now. I think they're too. maybe trying to get Sam some points here. Yeah, no games like this, Coach really likes to see if he can get every one of them to score. <laughs> Great dish, Nehemiah. I'm not sure he expected that to come at him, but layup doesn't go. Other end of the court, ball's tipped out of bounds. Lions ball. Lions going to take First a timeout. First time out of the half. We'll be back. And we're back from the timeout. Nine to play, second half. Lions well in control. 82-23 lead. On the court for the Lions, we have Micah Christensen, Aiden Glazer, Sam Wilson, Tashar McCray, and Nehemiah Becker. Great pass underneath. Micah with another two. Micah slowly inching his way up the scorebooks. That's 15 points on the night for him. Three-pointer on the way for the Conquerors. Gets it to drop. There's number 22, Kent Anderson, with the three-pointer. Sam, middle of the key, out to Tashar. Errant pass. Tashar still comes up with it. He's fouled. Fourth team foul on the Conquerors. I don't know if they thought Tashar was going to keep moving, and he stopped, but... Uh... <laughs> Still came away with it. Yeah, they expected a cut, didn't come. Luke Platowski is back in. Jess and Mike is done for the night as well. Yeah, I could see this uh, this group going the rest of the way unless there's some sort of massive foul trouble. Sam That's gonna three. get a three pointer up. Doesn't drop. Aiden gets the rebound. Sam's gonna get the foul. Sam, having a rough night from the floor. Yeah, this is not not normal for him Sam at all. Comes into the game averaging, well, he averages about six points, four rebounds a game. Right now he's sitting over six from the field, just having a rough night shooting. He'll come back tomorrow and do quite a bit better, I yeah. guarantee it. He's just too good of a player not to. Drive, no good. Rebound He's to Sam. Do those. Sam, a freshman, right? Kick. Uh, yeah. Looking forward to having him around for a few years. His brother Quincy is a junior. Should have him for one more. They're just the kind of guys you want to build a team around. Yeah, for sure. It's it's good to have them. Aiden gets the good pass on the inbound. I mentioned it earlier, but Aiden's also a true freshman. Getting some minutes in this game. He's gotten minutes in several games, but probably more so in this one than the other. Yeah. So. Gets the steal there. Sam going to put it up. For 
frustration. He's getting clearly super, set in. Super frustrated. 86, 26, just under seven left in the ball game. Three pointer on the way. Good. 23, Austin Weisbrook. He is the leading scorer with 14, I believe. <laughs> he just, <laughs> just bounces in and he out. Just nothing can't, is, nothing can't is buy going one. for him He's tonight. getting the looks. Now he's going to get called for the foul on the other end. That's a frustration foul there. I think the guys are giving him a hard time, too. This is second of the evening. Logan Anderson to the line. First no good. You know, I mentioned it with the girls' game, but I'm going to mention it. They're in good spirits, too, for losing a game to this size and, and having a season that they're having. They're still in great spirits, and, I mean, there's smiles across the board, and it shows a lot about their per perseverance and their character to still have a good attitude and be in good spirits. So kudos to them, and that's probably coaching as well. Yeah, easy to get frustrated in a season like this, in a game like this, but. Ten on the shot clock. Deshar cross court to Luke. He's going to kick it to Sam. He's going to cross this guy up. Going to take a wild shot. No, no rim. Three-pointers, no good. Aiden grabs the rebound, comes down out of bounds. Looks like Micah is going to come back into the game. Sam's going to take a seat. 5.37 left to play in the game. That's going to be the end of Sam's night. Kashar going to track down that tip from Micah. I didn't see that he'd come back in. Tashar going to take a chance for a three. Buries it. Tashar shooting well tonight. He is three of four for eight points. Five rebounds, one assist. Well-rounded night for Tashar. Another three-pointer on the way, gets it to go. Conquerors have gotten some open looks and knocked them down this second half. That's Caden Larson. Just off of Char's hand and out of bounds. Three-pointer, top of the key. Knocks down another one. Austin Weisbrook. Travel. Luke got a hand in his face. Nehemiah comes down with the rebound. Tashar in the corner, going to drive baseline. Hang just off the rim. I think everybody here wants us to score 100. There's a uh, 
I don't know how it happened. Ben McIntosh, one of our professors, our business professor. <laughs> There's a long Another three-pointer. Long standing joke that if Caden we break Larson. 100, he's buying corn dogs for everybody. I don't, I don't know where that originated from. We need, or to, bring how that, we need to bring that back. <laughs> That's right. Ben McIntosh, corn dogs for everybody. Corn dogs are good. If they break 100. Aiden thought about a three, gets it to the top. Tashar will take, take it. A chance. No good. Tip back out. Micah into the hands of the Conquerors who get it up the court. Layup is good. 89-41, three minutes to play. Pass is tipped, intercepted, half court by the Conquerors. Wayward dribble given right back. Nehemiah is going to stop, take a three. Marries it. And drops it. Seven points on the night for Nehemiah. Six rebounds, three assists. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't think I knew you couldn't do that. You got to be, you can't He's be. back the, in the field of play. <laughs> you have to establish yourself in bounds uh, okay. first, and then I don't okay. think you can be the first one to touch it. I know that's how it is in the NFL. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about the first, that might be a football thing, but I know you at least have to get both kind of feet back down, yeah, sure. before you touch the ball. That was worth a shot, that's for sure. Ninety-two forty-one, two and a half to play. The hops on that kid. <laughs> He's, he can oh, jump. Can jump like crazy. <laughs> he jumped high enough. <laughs> that it took him too long to come down <laughs> and the other guy got the rebound. <laughs> They're just gonna shoot. They're gonna hit another one. Let them shoot. They're shooting well in the second half. Take a minute. These basketball games don't happen without. Aiden for three. Comes up short. Lots of volunteers. We've had several at the uh, score table tonight. Right now we got Sarah Lee Peterson. No, Sarah Lee Twig. Twig. <laughs> it had been Peterson forever. And uh, it's, it's been Twig for a while. It has been. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and next year we got Abby Mullen. I don't know if she's working or just hanging out, but whatever. Uh, Izzy Chavez, she's been uh, heavily involved in sports uh, through her time here at Trinity. Is she a senior this year? Uh, super. She'll so be back next she year. Gradu she oh, graduates okay. next spring, uh, Christmas break. Oh, okay. Uh, so Jocelyn, one semester. Left. Jocelyn Stephens, Stevens, Stevens. I'm probably getting that one wrong. Marlissa Lidgerwood and Brady Anderson. Uh, there's lots of other people that help set up the gym. We got our tech people over here. Matt Payne on the ones and twos with the uh, the DJ service over here. Damian Myers working the camera and the scoreboard clock. Uh, all things live stream. And I know there's lots and lots of others. Cleanup crew, student government, student government, student government running, running the concession concessions. stands. So thank you to all of you that volunteer, that serve, that Another three maybe get good. paid for this too. We certainly appreciate all that it takes to uh, put on an event like this, and it doesn't go unnoticed for sure. Yeah, even a, I, I can't imagine putting on an event like in a big arena, like how many people it takes, because right. I know what it takes just to do one here. Yeah, we got one option for a bathroom. <laughs> so you're, right. not clean, you're not cleaning six or seven different. Micah Christensen, up and under. That is going to put him atop the score sheet for tonight. 17 points, five rebounds. Under 10 seconds. Pump fake, three-pointer on the way. No good. Micah, nope. That's going to end the game. Tonight's contest between Trinity and Free Lutheran Bible. Trinity 94. 
free Lutheran Bible 47. They're going to play again tomorrow afternoon, women at noon, men at 2. We will not be broadcasting. We, we, so we'll, we will be, be we'll back. be broadcasting. We won't be announcing. Yes, the game will the be, game will, the game will be, be live. live. We just tomorrow. won't be announcing. We just won't be announcing. So we will be back broadcasting the next game on Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, doubleheader. Again, only Tuesday will we be broadcasting. But games will be shown both nights. And then again, Friday, Saturday next week. Thank you for paying attention, joining in. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good night.